the LOCs. I tell, for instance, when they discovered this anomaly in the metering system, engage. We learned that they engage an independent audit organization who conducted audit on the same metering and found out that they had lost of over 16 million barrels of crude. Now, if you have or if you convert it to monetary terms, we are talking of hundreds of millions of US dollars over the years. And Nigerians are saying this is wrong, this is bad. They, you know, we commend the work of the executive director, Mr. Sariki Awa of DPR, in taking a position on this subject matter. And we learned one of the documents we are holding, or you know, that is in our possession, is to the fact that the DPR has even gone further to make sure that D, uh, that Shell pays some fine, about two hundred and fifty thousand or so. And it's our position that that is even a paltry sum. That the Nigerian legislature should do something about these fines on crimes like this. That's why we are calling on the federal government to go forth and ensure that Shell pays not only damages, but this fine, and, and at large, you know, stop this kind of fraud committed against our country. This is pure economic sabotage. The Nigerian youth cannot have it. We are standing here to represent the interests of the LOCs, our interests as Nigerians, because tax are being evaded. Do you understand? Tax are not being paid as it ought to. And this has continued over the years. We don't understand the reason why Shell will have to deploy a metering system that is not approved under our regulations by the DPR over the years. And they've been using it to calculate the inflow of injections into the NCTL. And that is the reason why we are here today. The ethnic leaders have spoken the minds of the Nigerian youth on this subject matter, demanding, asking the federal government to take adequate steps, nationalize these facilities, take shell out of this place if they will not abide by our rules or regulations of government. That is why we are here today.